Hey, welcome to the Moral News for the week ending on April 7, 2023. And we're going to lead off with kind of a follow-up to the drag story hour in Calgary, Canada. You might remember a few weeks past, Derek Reimer, a Christian pastor there in Calgary, was arrested for, uh, for being protesting at this drag time story hour. The city of Calgary has gotten together and they've passed some new rules. And so they are now... They now have a rule, $10,000 fine, six plus up to six months in jail if you should disrupt a pro a, an event by protesting. There's a new rule that you have to be 100 meters or further away. One of the local news channels ran a bit of an interview with a local social justice lawyer named Adrian Smith, and I'm gonna just show you a piece of that. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned that a uh, 100 meter limit as proposed in the bylaw is just going to move a hateful protest 101 meters away, which means it won't have that deterrent effect that I think the council is hoping for. And I'm concerned that the wording of the bylaw doesn't have any protections against uh, hateful uh, gatherings that could be sponsored by, say, the library, which has been uh, a problem here in British Columbia when the library's actually sponsored problematic speakers. They already have the tools. And I think looking carefully at ways that city staff are uh, being less than entirely inclusive towards the community already um, is a more productive way to try and control these issues. So this person, uh, this lawyer Smith, sounds like uh, not satisfied unless there's a much more aggressive approach. There should not even be a space for a protest in, in that person's opinion. Uh, yeah, you you shouldn't even be allowed whatsoever. You have to have, have to have complete agreement with the the sexual change agenda that she has. He, she, I'm not sure what pronouns this person has. So anyway, there you have it. Let's move on to another item. Uh, this is University of Alabama. Uh, they were a group of students sued them, uh, put a lawsuit there. They had created a rule that uh, prevented different kinds of activities on campus. They finally made a section where you could show spontaneous uh, expression of activities, but they had defined that in a very limited space. There's only two or three places on campus you could do that. Uh, now they have backed away from that because, because yeah, the students fought back. So that's kind of an interesting piece. Limiting freedom of speech, that's kind of the whole, the whole thing this week. You might remember a case from a couple of years ago, Pavy Rassen, she's a Finnish member of parliament in the land of Finland. And she had published a booklet that promoted the standard viewpoint of marriage, which is, you know, one biological male marrying one biological female for life. She put something like that out there. And of course, that was uh, caused all these people to become uh, crazed. So they put her on trial. She won that thing unanimously, but now she's facing a second trial. Listen to this. How does it feel to be facing a second trial? Uh, for something that happened so long ago mm. after being found unanimously not guilty, like you said. The process is still going on. I'm still suspected of crime. I have been it for years and it has been very public in media. It has also taken a lot of my time and it has also had effects uh, to my work in Parliament. So now when she runs again, uh, she will be running, but she'll be running as somebody who's potentially a criminal because her she's under the second time she's going to be tried for this thing. The fact that she uh, unanimously was exonerated the first time and then they're doing it again shows us that they are, you know, really determined to knock her out. She she needs to be canceled in their mind. So there it is. Now in Malaysia, there's a new rule there. This is a fatwa that's been issued. Of course, it's a it's a Muslim nation. And they've issued a new rule that says uh, the state bans Muslims from entering churches. So if you're a Muslim, you can't go to a church there. You can't even go to listen. And so there we have that from the April 7 of this month. So interesting bits. I just want to sometimes we'll do a blast from the past. And I just want to bring back a little blast from the past from the state of California. Way back when, a year or two ago, the California Supreme Court had ruled by five to four, that is just one person, a margin of one person, that if you were holding a household worship event in your own home, that the state could not bar people from coming. You'll remember that California had very stringent rules and even rules about how many people could enter your own household and, and uh, 
regulations about all that. So the California Supreme Court knocked it down by by margin of one whole person, one person uh, here just a year or two ago. So uh, we the, the overall picture here is loss of freedom, loss of speech, loss of freedom of speech, loss of freedom of worship, and uh, a, a an agenda, an amazing uh, transgender and bisexual gay and lesbian agenda that is is trying to overturn all things in our society.